Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we have a Hot Wheel case unboxing, and as you can see it right here, we have a Hot Wheel L case, and I'm really excited to get into this, and obviously it's a brand new case, but there is a dented corner right here, so hopefully I don't have any like rare, valuable cars that are in that corner that are damaged, but I would say for the rest of this box, it looks fairly decent. Typically, uh, some of the international cases get pretty beat up, and this one so far is in fair condition. Um, but before we get started in the case unboxing, I do want to mention it is a new month. It is now July, and there's going to be a new giveaway on my website. So there's going to be a link in the description down below, shopemptyparadise.com. I'm giving away this Hot Wheel RLC 1968 Custom Plymouth Barracuda. This thing looks absolutely amazing. I love that color. But also it even has the engine with the hood up and the engine displayed which looks really cool. Even has like a detailed exhaust and everything, rubber real rider tires. It's a Hot Wheel RLC car. So definitely go down. There's gonna be a link in the description down below. Hop onto my website. You guys can see all kinds of different Hot Wheels I have on there. I have a bunch of Hot Wheel mainline premium monster trucks. I even have some collector cars from like Fast and Furious and some other sets. I even have some other Hot Wheel RLCs available on there for sale as well. So definitely go check it out. And a lot of cars from this case will be on there. So a lot of the duplicates will definitely be on there. So definitely go check it out. And as this video goes live, there's already cars available. So you don't want to miss out. Definitely go check it out. ShopEmptyParadise.com. Get entered into the giveaway. But not only that, there's going to be 10% off your entire order. So whenever you guys place an order, automatically applied at checkout is going to be at 10% off. So yeah, you definitely don't want to miss out on that. But also I do have free shipping over $99. So if you guys do spend more than that, you get free shipping and 10% off. So you do not want to miss out on that. Plus, obviously getting entered into the giveaway. Heck yeah. So let me go check it out. But let me go ahead and lay this box on its side. And we can go ahead and get started with the unboxing. Always want to be careful with these because, yeah, I can hear the cars kind of shifting around inside. But let's go ahead and cut the seals on this. And I'm so excited about the L case. I did see a couple teasers of a few of the cars, but I always try to like not look at what's coming out so that when I do these case unboxings, I'm actually like really surprised. So I don't want to look at any of these quite yet. All right, let me just slide this a little out of the way here and get started right up on top. All righty. Ooh, that's interesting. So we already have a Batman animated series Batmobile. We did see that in the previous case, as well as this 24-7. But we have the Trouble Decker in a new color, which is kind of interesting. Got that blue and orange going on, which kind of looks like the golf livery a little bit. Like if they would have had like a little golf logo on that, that would have been really awesome. Man, it's kind of like some missed some lost potential right there. Alright, let's see what else we got here. Oh, okay, so we got a Lane Low Rider got a rink racer and then a nissan skyline 2000 gtr liberty walk we did see that in the previous case but i think this car looks absolutely amazing all right oh wow this is a great pull and there's a car that i've been really excited for we got the pagani utopia i know this is a brand new car in real life and i'm surprised that they already have a hot wheel variant of that but it's like a kind of cool, like cream gray color. It's pretty interesting. And then we have the Bumblebee, the Volkswagen Beetle, and it's actually the Transformers one. So you can see like the little logo there on the hood, and it is Bumblebee. And then we have the 70 Dodge Charger RT. We did see this like in a yellow color before, and now it's back in a really cool like pink color. I know a lot of people like pink Hot Wheels, and I do Hot Wheel races every single day in the form of YouTube shorts, and a lot of people love when I do a race like all pink cars. So if I do get to damage one of those, I'm definitely going to be opening it up, put it on my Hot Wheels six lane raceway. Actually, now I mentioned it, all three of these, I want to find a damaged one of these to open, and then a damaged uh, Pagani Utopia, because I think those will all be cool to add to my collection and be able to race in some videos coming up. Oh, wow, we got a really nice new color on the 2015 Jaguar F-Type Project 7. It's like a nice maroon. Then we have a track wagon, and then a uh, 2020 Toyota Tacoma and a really cool new livery. Got that blue with like the stripes and everything on there. Got the rigid logo and the Bielstein logo. Man, that looks really awesome. Man, already this case is like, has some pretty epic cars, wow. Oh, okay, we got another car that I'm excited about. Well, first we have the 1990 Acura NSX, 
But we have the 1967 Lotus Type 49, and I've been really excited about this car because I do want to put that on my six-lane raceway. That thing looks absolutely insane, but wow. And then we also have the Surf Duty. All right, so now next up we have, okay, so we got a boom car, and then the Chrysler Pacifica, and then another Acura NSX. Ooh, okay, so we got a uh, 1984 Mustang SVO, looks really nice. Got the uh, Terra Tractal, and then another Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR Liberty Walk. Oh, this is kind of shaped weird. Oh, we got some cool cars, which actually they were the same cars from the last case. We got the white and red Lamborghini Sesto Elemento, the Magnus Walker 96 Porsche Carrera, and then the 73 Jeep J10. All right. Oh, okay. So we got the Pontiac Aztec Custom, but we got another Pagani Utopia, which is pretty awesome. And then a Dragster. But, man, the, Pony, or the Pagani is actually in perfect condition. I think both of them look immaculate. So I will actually have these available on my merch store. So I'm going to wait till later on to be able to get some from my personal collection because I do want to be able to open up some. And since these are in great condition, I'll go ahead and put them on there so you guys can be able to hop on and snag them before anybody else does if you're quick enough. Uh, and then later on I'll get some or maybe I'll find some of the stores that I can uh, be able to open up that are likely damaged from being thrown in a dump bin or anything. But, oh, wow, one of my favorite cars in Hot Wheels is the Diora 2, and we just got that brand new Diora 2. Same thing with that. I really want to get one and open it up. This thing does look like it's in great condition, so I'm not going to be opening that. But, wow, check that out. And I actually did get to see the full-size one with this kind of wrap on it. And then we have a Land Rover Series 2 and then a Rally Speciale. Man, this case is already, like, really awesome. Like, I'm super excited with a lot of these cars. Oh, wow. That is a really nice uh, 1994 Audi Avant RS2. It's, like, a really beautiful kind of blue with, like, a little bit of a green in there. Kind of like a turquoise aqua color. And then we have another Lay-In Lowrider. And then we have the Groomobile from Despicable Me or also from Minions. <coughs> All right, so the next up we have another Batman animated series Batmobile, the Rally Speciale, and a 24-7. Oh, that's the first half of the case. Let's go ahead and take out the divider. And go ahead and get to the bottom half. Actually, what? so it's the other corner that's damaged. All right, we've got some cool cars in this one. We've got the 92 Ford Mustang. We have the 22 Ford Maverick Custom, which actually looks kind of cool. And then the No Loon Hypervan. Wow, that Ford Maverick actually, like, I hate to admit it, but it actually looks pretty cool. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow, this is a nice pull. So we got another 2022 Ford Maverick Custom. A 2020 Conan Sag Conan Yesco, which looks really nice in that purple. And then we also have the same car from the last case, the Shelby Cobra 427SC. And it actually has a Zamac finish, but it's not a Zamac, but it has the exact same finish as one. So I think that looks really cool. Ooh, okay, so we got the Mazda 787B, which looks absolutely amazing with that design. And then another 94 Audi Avant RS2. And a flipping fast in a new color. So it's actually kind of like a fidget spinner. So you can hold that piece right there and hold it on either side. And you can just spin it. And then the whole car will just spin. So that one's actually really cool. Also, you have the top side of it is a car. But then even the bottom side is a car. So no matter which way you put it and the tires are big enough, that you can drive it on a track either way. So I will have this available on my merch store as well. This one's in great condition. I even have the other version. I, I don't know if I have those listed on there, but as the video goes live, I will have the other color variant of that as well, if you guys are interested.
Oh, we did not get the Super. Wow, okay, so the car that would have been the Super still looks pretty cool. But we also have the another Batmobile. It would have been the 77 Pontiac Firebird TA. That car looks absolutely amazing. That would have been the Super if the Super was in this case. But, man, that's too bad we did not get it. This car still looks, like I said, really amazing. Even the eagle on the hood looks really cool there in red. Man, that car looks awesome. And then we also have a Volkswagen ID Buzz. We did see that before in yellow, and now we got it in orange. And we still haven't seen the regular treasure hunt either, so hopefully we get that. We got the 67 Lotus Type 49, which looks amazing. A Surf Duty and another No Loon Hypervan. Oh, wow. That's amazing. So we have the Land Rover Series 2, but we have the Formula E Gen 3, and that thing looks really cool. Like, I didn't even know that this was going to be coming out, but honestly, I'd kind of like to open up one of these, so I hope I get a duplicate because that would be a really cool car to be able to open up and put on the Hot Wheels 6-lane raceway, especially to go against that Lotus that's also a race car. But man, that thing looks amazing. And I like the way the blue kind of fades like a dark blue in the nose and then it gets lighter as it goes back. Man, that thing looks really awesome. Wow, okay. <laughs> and then we also have another uh, tractor, or dragster. Oh, wow, this is a really nice pull. So we got a Bugatti Belide finished with that yellow and black. Then we have a really nice kind of yellow cream color uh 1992 uh, bmw m3 i think that looks absolutely amazing we also have the tuned porsche 911 turbo 3.6 it's the porsche 964 it's like in a nice dark maroon color i think that looks amazing but wow that was a really nice pull especially that bmw i really like that all right still got a lot of cars left oh okay so we got the five alarm a uh, Tanknator, but we have a really nice Mazda RX-7 with that police livery. We did see that in white before, and now it's really cool seeing it finished in black with gold wheels. It's like that Japanese kind of style police car. Oh, I only got two. Where's the other one? There it is. Oh, wow. Okay, so... Oh, perfect. We got another Formula E Gen 3, and this one does have a damaged package. So the whole edge is beat up. There's like a giant crease is going down this whole side. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see it right there where that crease is. So I'm actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up right here right now. So the other one will actually be on my merch store. So if you guys are interested in picking that up, this one will now be on my Hot Wheels six lane raceway. And I'll be able to have these in some upcoming YouTube shorts of racing Hot Wheels. And that thing looks amazing. There we go. Look how that looks. I love that front splitter. Even like the wing looks really cool. It has like the fins that stick up. And it even says Formula E right there. Man, that is awesome. Let me know what you guys think of that. And it even has like the little halo thing right here to kind of protect the driver. That's very accurate. So I am really surprised and blown away by this car. I think that looks amazing. Put down in the comments down below what you guys think of that. And like I said, the other one is available on my merch store. So if you guys are interested in picking that up. And then you also automatically get entered into the giveaway. So it's like a win-win right there. But then we also have another uh, 96 Porsche Carrera from like the Magnus Walker kind of collection. And then we have the Ducati, Ducati Desert X, which I really like that color scheme. Like the white with the red and things like red and silver. Yeah. All right, we still got some more cars here. Oh, wow, we got a, another Bugatti Belide, and then another 2020 Koenigsegg Yesco, and then another track wagon. Ooh, okay, that looks really cool. We got a limited grip in like a nice green color. We got a, another Bumblebee, and then we have the Tanknator, and this Bumblebee is actually in great condition <laughs> both of these cars actually have some heavy damage and this one was right in the middle 
and I really want to open one and put on my uh, Hot Wheels 6-lane raceway, but I know a lot of people are looking for this, so I feel like I'd be better off just throwing it on my website to let other people get the chance of being able to snag that while they can. And if I ever get a damaged one, I'll then be able to open it and add it to my racetrack. And we've got the last three cards, which we have not got the treasure hunt either. And we did not get it at all, but we did get something really awesome. But we got the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento, Pontiac Aztec Custom, and we got this really awesome Chevy Silverado. I know a lot of people love trucks, especially Chevy Silverados. This one looks absolutely amazing. But, wow, the other thing is huge as well. Like, especially when you compare it next to another car. Look how much bigger this Silverado is next to, like, the Lamborghini. Man, that is insane. And for the Silverado being on the corner that's, like, heavily damaged... It actually does not have damage on it. It looks nice and clean. I don't see any creases or anything. Wow, that's amazing. So that truck definitely lucked out. But put down in the comments down below which one of these cars is your guys' favorite. And man, what an awesome case. The Hot Wheel L case. I think this whole year, like this has more cars that I've really loved than anything else. And I kind of like love not really knowing exactly what was in here. I knew of a couple cars to expect, like the Lotus. I was really excited about that. But like some of the other cars, I just did not even want to know what was to come. But if you guys did like this video, go down, hit the like button. I have a lot more other Hot Wheel videos coming all the time. I get every new case release as they come out. I get the international and the US. So probably in like the next like month or two, I'm going to be able to get another Hot Wheel L case. It's going to be like the US version. But obviously, it's going to be the same exact cars, but the internationals do release a bit early. So if you guys do want to see more Hot Wheel case unboxing videos and a bunch of other Hot Wheel videos coming all the time, especially when new RLCs come out, make videos of all that. But if you guys like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. But as always, thank you for watching.